Good morning, guys. It is 8 o'clock in the morning. We're here on St. John and the U.S. Virgin Islands at Maho Bay, and today's mission is to get that classic over-under turtle shot. There's a bunch of sea turtles right out here in Maho Bay, and we are looking for them once they come up to the surface and take a breath to take that shot. We're also going to be talking about some tips and tricks for capturing that over-under shot. have no idea what's going to happen today, so let's stick with us through the end of the video and get in the water. Tip number one to getting that awesome turtle above and below shot is you gotta find a place that has sea turtles. Again, we're at Maho Bay. They've definitely got the turtles, so let's get out there. In the U.S. Virgin Islands and in many parts of the world, sea turtles are a protected species. Touching sea turtles carries a stiff fine and harsh penalties and causes them extreme stress. Furthermore, riding, chasing, or harassing sea turtles in any way just isn't right. Only a remora can get a free ride on the back of a sea turtle. So tip number two, in addition to making sure that you have the subject you're after, in this case, the turtles for our over under shot, lighting is also key important. So again, it's about eight o'clock in the morning and the way that Maho Bay is orientated is just absolutely perfect. So the sun is coming up right behind the shoreline here. And that means we can orientate our camera right in line with that sun, get that sun at our back and hopefully really just light up that turtle with the sun. Okay, so tip number three, in order to get that over under shot, you obviously have to have part of your camera above water and part of it beneath the surface of the waves. So to make that happen, the easiest thing to do, make sure you have a large dome port. It's much easier to get that shot and put the water line right in the middle of a large dome port than it is a small one. All right guys, tip number four here is making sure that you've got good visibility in the water. Today, there's a bit of a north swell that's kind of pushing right into Maho Bay. It's kind of mucking it up a little bit here in the shallows. So we're gonna keep heading out. It looks like it clears up. So let's see if we can get some clear visibility and some turtles all at the same time with the light at our back. Let's go. Ready? Yeah. Okay, tip number five, patience. This is a waiting game at this point. So we're out here, the visibility is kind of cleared up beneath us. We've got our sun in the right spot. We've got our right camera here with our wide angle lens and our dome port. Everything's certainly lining up for the great shot. But now we need to find some turtles. So patience is critical. We're just kind of go up and down here and maybe we'll find some. But even after we find one, it's a waiting game for him to come up to the surface. So. Uh, we might be at this a couple hours, but with some movie magic, we'll speed it up for you. Let's go searching. So tip number six is respect the sea life. There are laws down here that he's don't allow it. Oh, he's coming up. There we go. Might have got it, I'm not real sure. Wow, it happened so quickly. That was awesome. I think you got him right in there. Next tip for you, burst mode. Just set it into burst mode and press that trigger and just go. There's not enough time to really hold that shot and get it all steady and perfect for one click of the button there in the shutter. But uh, set it on burst mode, just run with it. Something in there might be the money shot. Okay, so tip number six, seven, eight, I don't, I don't know, I, I lost track. Anyway, throw in a little bit of luck because at the end of the day, you're free swimming, the turtle is free swimming, getting the perfect shot all in alignment with everything else coming into play is a challenge. So 
There's nothing wrong with throwing in a little bit of luck. What tip is this? Number eight? Number eight. Tip number eight. Keeping the water off the dome port. So maybe this should have been tip number one or two. I don't know. We'll throw it in as tip number eight. <clears throat> you don't want all the little beads of water in your photograph. There's a few ways to manage that. One, just before taking that shot and clicking that shutter, keep the dome port submerged, lift it up and start clicking. You'll have a few seconds before the water really starts to bead and somewhere in there you should get a good shot. Secondly, there's a lot of people that lick it. You can just go to town and start licking this thing. I'm not sure that's a great thing in the year of COVID, but at any rate, you can lick your dome port. It's just between you and your dome port. I think it'll be fine. Lastly, there are commercial products like Defog for your mask that you can put on here. I've never found that necessary. I've never used them. I don't really subscribe to that one, but the first two tricks work pretty good. Started it. Okay, so tip number nine, be ready. <laughs> if you're not ready, you're never gonna get that shot. Whew. So tip number 10 guys, just remember at the end of the day, whatever you got, it just doesn't matter. It's fun being out on the water, so enjoy it. So whether we get that shot for National Geographic or we just get some great shots that we enjoy ourselves, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna head back, take a look at the images we got, share them with you, definitely comment below what you think and check out our next video here at the end. This was a nice shot, but I messed it up by having water on my dome port. I like this shot as well, but the head is completely out of focus and to have a good composition, the eye of your subject really needs to be in focus. I like this one as well, but in the background there's a red buoy coming out of the back of the turtle's head. In this image, there's more water on the dome port and I wasn't really thrilled with the green murky water in the shallows. This is a nice shot, but the background isn't my favorite. It doesn't create the best composition. The turtle kind of gets lost in the image. My favorite shot of the day is this one. It had good lighting and was in focus, but there's a boat in the background coming out of the head of the sea turtle. So let's take a quick look at a Photoshop trick that we can use to make that better. Pulling up Photoshop, we move over to the menu and hit the lasso tool. There we can drag our cursor over the section of the image that we want to remove. In this case, that little boat behind the sea turtle's head and carefully outline it. Then heading up to the edit menu at the top, selecting fill, brings up this little window and in there we want to make sure we hit content aware so that it fills in with the background and not just a solid color. Guys, thanks for watching. Definitely check out another one of our videos here at the end. And if you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button below. It means the world to us. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you next time underwater.